Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm here in the Ship Pub on Tottenham High Road where I've just watched the Carabag nil Tottenham Hotspur 1 game in the Europa League that has sent us through to the last 32 of the Europa League with one game to spare. We only have the Monaco at home game left to play. What can I tell you about the game? This is my match review, of course. What I can tell you is that the first game was incredibly tight, as expected. Anyone who thought that it was going to be a walkover, I could have told you before the game it wouldn't be. Carabag are unbeaten at home for a long, long time. When they came to White Hart Lane earlier in the season, they kept the ball, they were tidy, and it took us a long time, even after they'd scored an opening goal, to break them down uh, properly. I mean, in, in that game, I think we scored a couple in the first half, but they were still a decent side. Tonight in the first half, they played it around nicely and most importantly they looked sharp on the break. Spurs had the most of the possession and made some good chances without ever really creating anything clear cut in that first half. But Carabag looked dangerous on the break and had a few kind of two on one, three on one situations um, with our centre backs. Uh, but Hugo made a couple of decent saves. In the second half, uh, it started to open out around the 60 minute mark. Uh, people started getting tired and spaces started to open up and that's where Spurs' quality really started to shine through. Um, in the end, it was Harry Kane's goal that won the game for us from a Christian Eriksen corner flicked on by Hyung-Min Son at the front post and he put it in for something like his ninth goal in his last six games. He's on fire. Anyone who said that he was a one-season wonder eating their words. I have a mate who put a bet on with another mate of mine who said that Harry Kane wouldn't score 15 goals in all competitions this season. That is the easiest 50 quid my friend Ben has ever won, let me tell you. He will absolutely knock it out of the park. I'm pretty sure he'll get another 30 goals in all competitions this season, especially now that we're into the knockout stages of the Europa League. Obviously, one of the important things tonight was we played a strong team, but we still had to be there on Sunday for the Chelsea game with fresh legs. And I have to say, I did feel that although they worked hard tonight, I did feel that they kind of left a little bit in the tank, you know. I think they would have been happy in a way with a nil-nil, not delighted. I think Spurs fans would have been annoyed, of course, but I think they wanted to leave stuff in the tank for Sunday and they've done that. Can I again give props to Eric Dyer? The amount of work he puts in that won't get any press, won't get any plaudits, but what a workhorse. What an incredible, de incredible defensive midfielder we've got on our hands now. He just does it for the rest of the team. Times when we're being broken against from our own corner, he is the one working back and getting his body in the way. Even if it's not a, a massive tackle blocking a shot, it's just getting his body in the way, making sure that last pass for the opposition isn't easy. I thought today the players that came in did okay. Trippier and Davis, I think, are what they're there for. They are squad players. Danny Rose for me and Carl Walker for me are the number one fullbacks. Um, and apart from that, Ryan Mason came in and did what Ryan Mason does. He had a good game, solid. Always gives you a 7 out of 10, I think, Ryan Mason. He's rarely going to score a hat-trick for you, I think it's fair to say. He's rarely going to get three or four assists in a game. But did he do his job today? Yes, he did. Would I be comfortable with him coming in against Chelsea on Sunday if necessary? Yes, I would. I think Lamella will be the first choice if he's fit to come in instead of Deli Ali, but if Mason has to play and maybe Dembele gets pushed forward or Mason plays in that 10, that can happen too. Uh, Hung Min Son to me played fine. He doesn't look quite match sharp yet, but that 90 minutes under his belt tonight, or sorry, 80 odd minutes because he got taken off, will uh, stand him in good stead for Sunday. Most of all, guys, tonight was all about the result and making sure we didn't get any injuries, and that looks like it's come in. Being able to know that we're through to the last 32 of the Europa League with a game in hand is massive for us. He can play the youngsters against Monaco at home because our, our goal difference is plus three, and uh, Andelect to a second in the group is only plus one, so I'm pretty sure we'll top the group whatever. Uh, so all in all, another brilliant night for Spurs. The momentum has been kept up and what a season we're having, guys. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs, and we'll see you on Sunday for Chelsea.